In this video, I'm on my way up to Mount Pimpinogos, often referred to as Temp, which is the second highest peak in the Utah Wasatch Range. Temp tops out 11,752 feet in its close proximity to Salt Lake City and the surrounding valley. I'll be hiking with my friend Betty up to the Emerald Lake area in order to sleep at altitude before starting our through hike of the Uinta Highline Trail. Everybody, welcome back to another adventure. Uh, this video is going to be an awesome one. Uh, we're at the Aspen Grove Trailhead, bottom of Mount Timpanogos in the Uinta National Forest in Utah. And I'm out here with Betty, who was on my Shenandoah trip a couple weeks ago for our, uh, our uh, shakedown hike. But uh, right now, we're getting ready to head up onto the mountain. Up Mount Tipanogos. We're going to camp out one night just for an overnighter to get some altitude. We're going to be up above around 10,000 feet camping. And uh, it's about a four mile trip up there. But it's all climbed the whole way, man. So it's going to be interesting. But here's what we're looking at. Check out this view. Beautiful countryside up here. Mountains. So we're going to hit the trail because we got a late start this morning. But since it was a short day, it didn't really matter. So we're going to get going. See you further up on the hill. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, here we go. Timpanogos is about 11,700 feet at the top. We're going to make a climb up to one of the plateaus up there. Probably head up to Emerald Lake. And then we're going to decide whether to stay there at Emerald Lake area or backtrack a little bit to one of the areas near where the forested uh, coverings are. So we're about 10 minutes in. Uh, so far, it's a pretty easy climb. Trail's pretty flat, not a whole lot of rocks. Uh, not big rocks, anyways. So it was a pretty good mix of pine, maybe some fir, a lot of deciduous stuff like. Uh, different types of birch trees up here. Pretty good variety. Being in the desert, you know, in Utah, you don't really think you'd find these types of trees out here, but here they are. I'm still seeing some snow up there on the, on the faces low-lying areas. They still got some snow sitting. All right, officially heading into the Mount Tipanogos Wilderness. Just branched it off from the, uh, the Lame Horse Trail there. A plaque here for Tipanogos, Tipanogos Trail. And it's pointing out Robert's Horn. So this one here to the left is Robert's Horn. And Tim is actually the one farther back there. Alright guys, just check out this, this scenery. This is so awesome. I mean, it's not the Sierra Nevada, but it's close. All 
I had to stop here for a, uh, for a bit of a break. We got a great waterfall. We're gonna have some lunch. We picked up Subway on the way up here. So we're gonna down that real quick and refuel. And uh, guzzle a liter of water, and then we're gonna fill up again with uh, the cocoa. Beautiful right here. Sun's come out, so you can see things a lot better. Had to break out the sun stuff too. Brought down my long sleeves, my uh, sun gloves, and get ready to put on the uh, sunglasses as well. The sun's pretty intense up here. This is our lunch break for today. Pretty? No, not just pretty, it's gorgeous. Gonna pop off with some water here. Alright, here we are taking our lunch break. Oh hey, check that out. There's the parking lot. Way down there. We did a mile so far. We climbed a thousand feet in an hour. Uh, not too shabby on the time. But we're eventually going. Hey. At the top there. Probably we'll probably make that by tomorrow morning. We're gonna find a plateau below the cliff up there to stay at. And there's a couple of different areas we can do that. It, it levels out on some different plateaus up there. And uh, a couple of lakes as well. Absolutely stunning up here guys. We're not even halfway up yet. A lot more of these. A little bit of a rock scramble here. Not too bad though. Let's see. Uh, see what happens. So it's starting to get a little interesting. I'm not going to call it sketchy yet, but uh, definitely if you misstep, you've got a, uh, a problem. Uh, mostly loose dirt, packed dirt, with some, you know, a lot of granite thrown inside it. Oh boy, more rock scrambles. Awesome. You okay? Yeah, put your poles down. I can hand them to you. Feet are too small. Well, I can find that loop. people how are you feeling buddy i'm good i'm still just catching my breath
All right, Jeff, if you're watching this video, I hate you for recommending this easy hike. This is about a four mile straight up climb. Not undoable, but gotta be ready for it. I believe we we're gonna be doing around 30, to 3,400 feet in elevation. We were starting out at 6,200 and we're going to end up uh, at the lake. It's around 8,000. Um, and then actually it might be 10,000. Uh, I forget what the numbers were now. The temp summit is 11,700. I don't know if you can notice, but there's a couple spots of snow on some of the uh, southern faces here. Not quite all melted off yet, and it's even up by uh, Emerald Lake, it's a bigger section on that thing they call the glacier. But all of it is pretty much almost gone now. Check out that shoot, guys. That was a long way down. The trail's gotten a little easier. Not a lot of rock scrambles anymore. It's uh it's more of just packed dirt, slight grade. And we'll see how much longer that lasts. This is pretty wild. The birch are growing literally just straight out of the side of the mountain. Almost horizontal. Uh, not this one up here, but the one down lower. Interesting. So we came down up, or we came up this, this uh, chute here, switched back to, all the way up, you can't really see us around the corner here. All the way and up this way. And we're going to head around that little uh, bend in the, the hill here. Around the other side and I think we switch back up this way. Yeah, good, uh, good hike so far. Definitely challenging. Alright, so... We're above 8,000 8, feet. We got our first moose. He is right center screen there, that black spot. Pretty cool. It's actually two of them. One's just coming out over the top behind him there. Unfortunately, this camera doesn't zoom in anymore. Pretty, new, pretty cool. I don't know how they wander around on these slopes up here. It's crazy. All right, so we're uh, we're above eighty thousand feet, or eight thousand feet. We're uh, we're gonna cross this uh, rock slide here, Tiles Field. And once we get to here, we got a spring. We're gonna fill up the water, cap off. And then we climb pretty straight up all the way up and the lakes are up in here. Uh, we still got a ways to go. All right, well, we made it up next to the snowshoe here. I gotta admit this is definitely not what we expected today. We were thinking maybe six miles to the summit, but it's at least that much to the lakes. I 
All right, we took a little breather break here again. So just to give you an idea of where we came from. Down there is, what's it called again? Sundance. Sundance. So if you guys have ever heard of Sundance Film Festival, that's where you gotta start. It's the Sundance Resort, owned by Robert Redford, way down there. So we started in the parking lot down there. We came, walked up, gully, and then we started switching back. You can kind of see the switchbacks running along all up and down this rock face over here. And you can see kind of like uh, over there, up there. And we came up down here, crossed the uh, talus slide down below us here. And we got some shorter switchbacks coming up here. So we're almost there actually. I know the sun's going to block this out, but uh, got to go up to like that first cliff face there, go up and around it, and then that where you see those pine trees up there, that's the lip of the, uh, the plateau where the lake is. So we're going to camp there tonight, I think. Man, you just can't beat this view. Still on the way up, Temp. And just look at the grandiose scale of this stuff out here. It's totally incredible. Now, buddy, we're uh, settled into our campsite, and this is our view for tonight. Gorgeous, 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 any way you look at it. So yeah, I'm just about out of battery. We've had a rough day. We're both not feeling that well because of the altitude. So we're getting ready to, I think we're going to go to bed. So I'm not going to film too much tonight. I'll check in with, with you in the morning and hopefully we're going to be feeling better. And we're going to be headed up that way and on out to uh, the trailhead. Good night. Good morning. Beautiful morning here in the basin. We got the uh, beautiful uh, alpine glow starting to hit the, the peaks up here. Got a little windy this morning, about 3 or 4 a.m. And uh, kind of surprised us. We thought the winds would be coming from a different direction, but instead they were coming from down off the cliffs here so we had to turn our tents around because they were folding in on themselves uh, now it's not too cold actually it's only about like the 50s maybe even 60. so a little change of plans this morning we uh, originally planned on going up further to emerald lake and then hitting the uh, uh, other trail down the other side Trail, I think it's called, but I think we're just going to go down the way that we came. It's a little bit of a shorter, shorter hike, and since uh, Betty didn't do too well on the uh, altitude yesterday, we probably don't want to go up any higher. So uh, we slept overnight at uh, you know above 9,000, so that worked out for us. We don't need to go any higher. Um, out here very peaceful at night except for the wind there's just no sound out here we got our little visitors that hang around in the basin here mountain goats there was about a hundred of them up here on this cliff face here they were munching on the grass and all kinds of stuff and it looks like there's a uh, 
kids there with them too. Baby, baby goats. Yeah, so on all, it's a good overnighter. We're gonna head back down, meet Jeff, and head back and, uh, figure out our plan. Some of the trails are, parts of the trails have closed due to fire closures towards the end of the, of the trip. Uh, we either have to adjust or just come up with a different plan altogether. But anyways, yeah, this is Mount Timpanogos. It's like the second highest peak in, uh, in Utah County. Uh, or maybe in the, the Wasatch Range. It's very pretty up here. Further in that canyon, right around that corner there, maybe about a mile up is Emerald Lake, and the uh, stream coming off of it comes down, fills in down here, and it supplies the hidden lakes. There's one right over here. There's another one down over the, the hill there. Can't really see it from here, but it looks like it's got some good flow. I think this is where I'm going to be filling up my water this morning. So, like I said earlier, about 3 a.m., 3.30 a.m., the wind started picking up. By 4 o'clock, they were gusting pretty good, probably 40 miles an hour, 45 miles an hour. And uh, the tents we originally had this way, we thought we were protected from the, uh, from the winds coming up the valley there because of the pine trees here. But it surprised us, and of course, the winds are coming from this direction up here. So, you know, if you put your tent wrong in the wind, uh, you're going to have a bad day. Because these side flaps and the doors, they just pretty much catch the wind like a sail. And it popped the stake out down here uh, on this side. And the whole thing collapsed inwards like that, pushing down inside the tent. Good way to break some poles. So we rotated around. I put some extra guidelines out here to hold it. And after that, it was golden. We stuck a little bit more like a baby. And Betty did the same thing for her. She's got a Keltie, which is a uh, you know, middle middle grade tent, and uh, it held up pretty good once we uh, turned it around. I'm gonna get some breakfast here. At least try to get some breakfast. You know, at altitude. A lot of times, at altitude, a lot of times you lose your appetite in the first couple days, and that's definitely what happened to me here. I didn't feel like eating last night, so I didn't. I just had some uh, some liquids in me. I went to sleep for a while. Felt better after that. Update you as we progress today.
Everybody just leaving camp. Looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day again. A lot of sun. Not too many clouds in the sky today like yesterday. Might actually have to don my sunglasses. But we're uh, heading on down. It's four and a half miles. And we should make a lot better time than we did on the way up yesterday. Yeah, that was pretty good. We were just over here at uh, Hidden Lakes. Now we just came up for the night. That's it. So make, no, so make no mistake about it, some of these switchbacks are definitely sketchy. Don't want to make a mistake up here. But at the same time, it just leaves you breathless with these views. A lot of these waterfalls have been drying up because most of the snow is gone. Nothing here at all. No pressure. <laughs> you filming my demise? Well, if it happens, I got it on film, yeah. That's where we're going to plan on stopping for lunch. A waterfall down there, water up. Some perspective. We came from that tree line right up there. Just the other, on the other side of those trees is Hedden Lakes. And I'm really needing some of that right now. We have arrived. Man, this has got to be the best one yet. We passed this one up on the way up the temp because we had already stopped down below there. Oh man, this is beautiful. I 
Yeah, it's hard this morning. Parking lot. Look at that. There's nobody here. All right, everybody, we made it back. I'm just coming through the parking lot here, but we actually parked on the street. So we're going to make it back to the truck here in a second, unpack, and call it a trip. If there was ever any question, Betty, of our cardiac fitness, <laughs> I think we probably made a statement this weekend. Man, that was an awesome trip, but that was a hard trip. Right up to Timpin one day. I know a lot of people do it, but not usually backpacking. All right, well, here we are. Been another great adventure. As always, everybody, thanks a lot for tuning in and watching. If you like these videos, Give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, it helps out the channel. And uh, the next stop is going to be hopefully the High Line Trail in the High Uintas starting tomorrow night. But we got to get back and check out the fire situation and see what things have been doing. Because I think they even had another one start up the other day. Typical. What is it with these deserts and wildfires? All right, everybody. Thanks again. See you next time. We were just up on the other side of that mountain. That middle peak with the double hump up there is Mount Timpanogos.